King Combs, Diddy's son, has provided some insight into how his father is doing in the situation, which is taking place within the context of the continuing legal issues. During their time in Los Angeles, King Combs and his brother Justin were contacted by a paparazzi photographer who made an attempt to grab a picture of them. An inquiry was made by the photographer on his father's health, and he made certain that his father was holding up. When that occurred, King Combs was with his brother. He was in the company of his brother. It was sufficient for the younger Combs to react with a single word, and that word was good. At various points throughout the course of the talk, it appeared as though his older brother Quincy was making an effort to divert the subject in a different direction by touting some upcoming initiative or activity. On the other hand, the first child of the struggling businessman who established Bad Boy did not offer any other opinion on the subject or provide any additional information. On the other hand, King Combs was forced to cope with his own personal pain when he was faced with a sexual assault case of his own kind. Around a month ago, something took place. This transpired as a consequence of the inquiry that was conducted in response to the multiple charges of sexual assault that were initially brought forward against his troublesome father. According to the court documents that were obtained by NBC News, the complaint was initially filed in Los Angeles Superior Court. The case was ultimately presented on Thursday, April 4th, as the documents demonstrate. In addition to that, the complaint names the bad boy mogul as a defendant in connection with the proceedings of the case. Grace Omarque, who is the person who submitted the complaint in this case, asserts that the hip-hop scion sexually assaulted her in the year 2022, only a few days before Diddy's annual New Year's Eve yacht party. She claimed that the assault occurred in the year 2022. Specifically, she asserts that the assault took place in the year 2022. Omarque contends that the boat party in question was billed as a wholesome family event, but that it quickly transformed into a hedonistic environment before she was even aware of what was taking place. This is an extra point of interest that she brings up.